Hey guys, my name is JJ and I'm bringing you this episode of Cool Things in Nature from um, Bailey's Grove Condominium Complex in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm here with my dad, the tree MD. He's a doctor for trees and he's going to tell us about a very um, concerning problem um, for trees in the area and all over the country. So what do we have here today? This is a situation uh, called girdling roots and one of trees' biggest problems are people. And the things that people do around trees can have an impact uh, on their overall health. And this is, a, is an example of, of something that we didn't do properly and the end result is possibly a loss of life of this tree. Um, roots should normally grow out and away from a tree. And in this situation, roots have developed uh, circling the tree and actually choking it off. Um, it's a slow strangulation. These roots get bigger every year just like the tree does. They put an, on annual rings and they will uh, eventually uh, cause the tree to decline in health to the point where it probably will, will not make it unless care is done. Um, how do we get here? We've got some other examples we can show you on where this went wrong. Okay, so here we have a tree that's in the beginning stages, right? Correct. So what has happened here? What's happened is every year a bark mulching company comes out and piles on new bark uh, for decorative, decorative uses. Sounds like something a lot of people do, right? Every, yes, it's become overpopular and what you have here is a, is a situation where year after year this is built up around the tree and it creates what we call a volcano effect on the tree where when you look at a tree and, and see all this mulch, it looks like a volcano. So this is the beginning of this tree's demise. Uh, it's a new tree. It, it actually replaced a dead tree that died of girdling roots and they've started the whole process over again. And if uncared for, this tree is going to end up like that tree. Way too. So now we can show you one that uh, didn't make it. So I understand that this tree didn't make it. No, this one did not make it. Uh, two weeks ago, it was still green. Uh, this spring, it leafed out, but for the last time. And that's, there's nothing you can do, there's no reversal. Not at this point. Uh, it's gone. So this is uh, uh, people gone bad as far as the way they've managed the, the life and health of this tree. That's an uncool thing in nature. It's very uncool. So this tree, what is this that we have here? This is the formation of, of new roots. These are baby roots that have occurred just in the last year or two from the bark mulch. Um, it's highly organic. Uh, it's good soil. Roots grow best where the best condition, conditions exist. That's why these little guys uh, start forming right away in, in the uh, uh, breakdown of the bark mulch. So the first step in trying to reverse this is pull back the bark mulch, try to get about a foot and a half back from the trunk of the tree. And amidst all that, is you're going to have to get through the, uh, uh, the fine new root hairs. Then this is cleared back and we begin to get down to uh, the actual choking roots. This one right here. Right? Yep. And uh, if we can take a time out, I'm going to get a tool or two and then I'll show you what we do to try to release that. We're now beginning the process of tree surgery. Mallet. Chisel. The first step is to break the pressure here, so we're going to uh, Chop away at that root. There, there's a beginning. Sometimes, this may sound a little silly, but sometimes I think I can hear a tree give a big sigh of relief when that first root gets snapped. I think I heard that. Did you hear it? <laughs> it's a good sound. So this is the beginning of bringing this tree back to a healthy condition and we'll continue to uh, remove as many of these tight roots as we can and uh, watch the tree in the future, uh, give it a little fertilization, make sure they don't uh, apply bark mulch like they did before. What can we tell people at home 
watching who or for how to be cool with their trees don't, what to do and what not to do it's a good question um, don't start the process so by not starting the process let's keep the bark mulch back a foot and away a foot and a half away from the base of the tree you can still smooth it out uh, if you need to you can lay a little bit in but if you come back next year uh, maybe pull back what you laid in the first time and put some of the nice new mulch there uh, just a little little thin coating but don't pile it on and don't don't uh, uh, be the demise of the tree that you love in your yard okay. thank you this has been very informative to everybody watching be cool with your trees